Hello, it is Sunday, July 9, 2023, and this is Cancer Update 25. What I wanted to talk to you about today is donations. So I've noticed that on many of the other cancer channels, um, the, the poor unfortunate people on those channels are um, requesting donations to their GoFundMe pages. And I, I feel that in their cases, that is absolutely appropriate um, for them. Uh, they appear, the, the two that I'm, the main ones I follow are uh, Jenny Apple and Pog, the Pog family. And they, they do appear to genuinely need help. And um, I, um, I, I think it's completely appropriate that they do have GoFundMe pages. Um, in my case, I'm actually financially stable and I do not intend uh, to set up a GoFundMe page. I've worked in IT for, um, for several decades. Um, I also have a degree in business. I'm quite good at uh, mathematics and finance. And importantly, compared to um, uh, Jenny and the Pog family, I don't have children. And that means because I don't have children, there are less uh, financial strains on me. And the way it has turned out, uh, I, my, my major assets are my house and a share market portfolio. Um, my house is mortgaged, but be, because of my situation, my mortgage is in fact paid 10 years in advance. So I could not pay another mortgage repayment for the next 10 years, and the bank would still not come after me um, until about the 11th year. So my, um, my mortgage is well and truly paid um, way into the future, nothing for me to worry about there. And my other major asset is my stock market portfolio. It has ended up, um, basically I ended up owning one, my portfolio at the moment consists of one share. I used to have a diversified portfolio of about 20 shares. The way it's turned out, I've, I've got one share. It's a long story that's not, um, not relevant anymore. Um, and the one share that I own is currently suspended. Once it becomes unsuspended, the value of that share is going to more than pay out my mortgage and will then leave me with a nest egg to live on. So um, I am financially fine. I don't need to set up a GoFundMe page and, um, and I won't be. So, um, so that's, that's my situation there. However, there is something I would like to ask that you consider donating if it is um, appropriate to you. If you don't have any um, uh, religious reasons for not wanting to do this, then I do ask that you consider donating blood. Now, let me explain my rationale for that. You would remember that when I've had my, <coughs> excuse me, when I've had my ascites drains, that they've had to infuse me with albumin. That albumin is a blood product um, from people that have donated blood um, within, within my state of Western Australia. And that blood has then been processed into blood products, one of those blood products being albumin. So if you would genuinely like to help people going through um, uh, struggles like mine, struggles like cancer, and help people in your local area, because of course any blood you donate will be used by people in your local area, then I ask you to consider donating blood. You will genuinely be helping uh, people um, close, geographically close to you. And it will be, a, it's, it's, it's not like donating money, you are donating part of yourself. And I, and I think that that is a very, very genuine thing. Uh, it, it's, it's, yeah, it, it, it gets down to that, the heart of what donating is. Donating money just means you, you give a credit card number and, you know, and you're gone. To donate blood means you actually have to make a booking, you have to go there, you have to, you have to spend your time, and you actually have to physically give up yourself. And um, I, I think that that process really goes to what donating is. It's, um, it, you, you have to be somewhat altruistic and, and um, uh, philanthropic and, and ready to give of yourself um, uh, quite genuinely. The other reason I think that uh, it might be a really good idea uh, for you to give blood is to to start to have an empathy with people going through um, a cancer journey or some some other kind of um, health journey and that is because ever so slightly 
donating blood hurts. They, they put a needle in your arm to get the blood out, obviously. And when it goes in, it does hurt a bit. It's not excruciating and it doesn't last forever, but it does hurt a bit. And I promise you that on the journey that I'm on now, I'm having needles put in my arm several times a week, every week. And, and I think everyone going through a cancer journey uh, is, is having that same um, experience. And you have to get used to it. You, it, it doesn't, you have to put it out of your mind that it feels uncomfortable and it hurts because it's, you have to do it. Your, your life depends on it. And if, if you were to go and donate blood, you would have to have a needle put in your arm and that will give you some sense of, of what we are going through, some sense of empathy um, with our situation. So I think, um, you know, I, I, I think, you know, I think that can be good for you as well to, to get that sense of empathy with us. So uh, that's, that's how I feel about that. It's perfectly fine. I know um, some religious um, denominations um, don't, don't allow for uh, blood transfusions. If that's your belief, that, that's fine. I, I understand that that's, that's, your religion is your religion and that's okay. Uh, but for those of you that, that can, I, I, I would re request that you consider that you do, okay? Uh, so it's it's um, Sunday now. So I had the um, what was it called the infuser port put in um, on Thursday. So that's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I had this put in three days ago. Um, it is now not so tender to touch. So um, it is it is coming along, and um, I'll I'll keep going on the journey. So um, thank you for uh, listening to Cancer Update Twenty Five and. Um, Hopefully, hopefully uh, you'll you'll be hopefully donating some blood. Okay, thank you very much. I'll talk to you later. See ya.